My name is Olivia and I will be talking about designing a data flow hardware accelerator with an abstract machine. The goal of our project was to take an existing prior work dense coarse grain reconfigurable array or CGRA and build a fully sparse and dense CGRA fabric. We defined a sparse CGRA as a coarse grain reconfigurable array tailored for sparse applications. We were able to do this with just two people. Here's me along with my co-author Max in the span of about four months to tape out. So how exactly were we able to do this? Well, we were able to do this because we leveraged um, a pre-existing abstract machine for our target domain, the domain of sparse tensor algebra. Here I show the sparse abstract machine or SAM graph. SAM represents sparse tensor algebra as streams, analogous to data flowing on wires, and primitives, analogous to hardware modules. Our CGRA slash hardware accelerator implements the stream and prim primitive protocols of SAM. We provide our experience of developing this hardware, and we really hope that this will convince people to design abstract machines for other domains to target future hardware. Our system also included a compiler to the sparse abstract machine from high level languages. And in addition, we built a tool chain and tooling to improve our hardware verification. Now I will provide four concrete benefits that we found when using our sparse abstract machine. So the first benefit that we found is the high amount of automation in our tool flow. Specifically though, to implement a new operation, or in our case, a new SAM primitive, we only need to hand implement two things. The first thing that needs to be hand implemented is the behavior of the abstract primitive in our cycle approximate functional simulator written in Python. The second thing that needed to be hand implemented is the actual hardware module implementation of that SAM primitive in our sparse CGRA using Verilog or Verilog like language. Besides that, everything else in the flow is completely automated. So in detail, that means that our front end compilation from high level languages to our sparse abstract machine is automated. We get automated test bench generation and we automatically get the hardware mapping and bitstream generation for our CGRA. These three components make up the, our SAM compiler. And then finally, once the checking infrastructure and verification infrastructure is implemented, we actually get automatic checking of our CGRA accelerator to our cycle approximate functional simulator. The next benefit we found is actually hardware design generality. So what this means is that the SPARS abstract machine is defined such that there are clean inter interfaces for eight SAM primitives that covers the entire space of sparse tensor algebra. So for, since our hardware leverages the sparse abstract machine, we only have to implement eight SAM primitives to also describe the entire space of sparse tensor algebra. What this concretely means is that our accelerator is now able to process over 14 end-to-end -end sparse tensor algebra uh, applications, each having at least one schedule. So really that's like over 30 algorithms that our accelerator can compute based on just the implementation of a small number of primitives. And this is beneficial because this really cuts down the amount of time needed by the hardware engineers because the, the hardware engineers and designers really only need to focus on a small number of things to design. The third benefit we found is the ease of debugging. So as I alluded to previously, we have this hardware uh, verification infrastructure. And let's see what happens when we check between our CGRA and our functional simulator. If there's a mismatch in the checker process, what we can do is we can actually look at the SAM graph and look at the, the functional simulation at the abstract machine level. And since the abstract machine has cleanly defined interfaces for streams 
and for the primitive, we can actually trace through these streams and show exactly where the mismatch occurs. And from there, we can pinpoint where the bug, uh, which primitive has a bug. And since we can pinpoint where the mismatch occurs directly from like a fine grain level, that actually translates directly to the hardware. And this allows for an ease of debugging kind of twofold. One is because you, the, the pinpointing of the bug easily allows for filtering out of the complexity from the hardware side. The second benefit is that we're able to debug mainly in software in Python, which means that debugging is now, now no longer requires specialized hardware knowledge. And the final benefit is decoupled development. So in our case, we iterated upon the hardware design and the compiler and simu functional simulator design in parallel. And the abstract machine allowed us to do this because it was a clean interface that kind of uh, de decoupled the compiler and the functional simulator from the hardware. Additionally, a further benefit of the sparse abstract machine and of the entire system is really that we can leverage the expertise of non-hardware engineers like software or systems engineers to help with this agile hardware design flow. In conclusion, we kind of provide four benefits of using our sparse abstract machine to design our sparse accelerator in the hope that really this experience will motivate the use of abstract machines to enable accelerator designs in the future for other domains.